Hi everyone, welcome to NIBM's Global Webinar. So today we are going to deal with the webinar topic that is Employee Engagement and Retention. So uh, coming to Employee Engagement and Retention, uh, this topic mainly deals with the fact that uh, in uh, today's uh, present organizations, what they currently do is that they uh, uh, try to retain maximum number of employees in the, in the organization so that uh, it would lead to their profitability and in improved productivity of the organization. So um, there is a current trend that employees uh, move on from one company to other in search of career opportunities or uh, certain factors which they deem them themselves to be of prime importance. So. Um, they, uh, uh, when a particular employee move from a particular company in search for, you know, career opportunities, or uh, if his, uh, you know, uh, if he, if, if 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 some of the benefits that he expects the company to give is not being met, he would change from that particular company to other company, which is obviously happening. And in that scenario, the comp uh, the managers or the uh, employers have to be, uh, you know, uh, well prepared to deal with that kind of a transition that is happening. So uh, we need to, uh, the company the, or the organization needs to do their part in doing something for the employees so that they can retain the employees, make use of their talent and bring out the best within them so that there would be career development from the side of the employees and uh, there would be profitability from the side when, when uh, comparing to the side of the organization. So <clears throat> when it comes to uh, retaining an employee or uh, making an employee engaged to a particular organization, they give prime importance to their own happiness, their own comfort level, uh, the benefits within the uh, working company, the kind of uh, working environment they're working on and other factors like uh, recognition, incentives, rewards and all those things and uh, motivation as well. So these are some of the uh, things that <coughs> employees in an organization give prime importance to. So when these uh, factors are not being met or when the organization fails to meet the requirements or the needs of the employees, uh, these are the cases where there is a, a, a likely a chance that the employees might switch from that particular company. They might look for other companies that are where, where there is much more challenging jobs or there's much more uh, benefits and uh, much more uh, better working environment or a better team to work with. So in order to avoid these kinds of things, uh, what uh, <clears throat> according to the current trend, what organizations do is they, ad they have adopted a strategy to identify what are the things that uh, employees need in a particular, <clears throat> what are the uh, uh, things that employees demand from an organization initially or what are their expectations. So an organization needs to identify that. And when we see that, uh, one of the most important aspect is there needs to be a culture of respect, which is uh, you know uh, which is expected by the individual in the company, and uh, the culture which is adopted in a company or an organization will differ from uh, one organization to other. So uh, there must be uh, a culture in which the employees and the employers would be mutually benefiting each other, in which they would be able to thrive and uh, you know they would be able to develop and benefit mutually as well. And another important fact, uh, factor is the availability of a constructive feedback and monitoring system, where there will be um, a feedback system in which the employees will get get a output regarding how their performance is in a particular company and uh, is there any scope for improvement, what are the areas in which they need to improve so that they could uh, bring out the best in them uh, within the company and all. So uh, this is another important aspect because every individual uh, looks for those things which he needs to improve within himself. So uh, when he gets those chances to you know rectify himself, he as an individual is developing at that point of time. So when he receives that kind of you know feedback, uh, whatever it may be, maybe it might be a negative feedback, uh, but uh, when uh, you know uh, conveyed through the pop proper channel, it will prove to be a factor for him, his uh, career and personal development as well. And another important factor is the opportunity for advancement and professional development. So when he's when he getting when he's getting such kind of a feedback, he will be able to improve himself. Uh, there is a need for recognition as well. So he needs to be, when, if he is performing well in an organization, he needs to be provided with the proper recognition uh, in certain cases, awards or some kind of uh, bonus packages or incentives as well. So these are the things which needs to be provided to the employee so that they will stick on to the organization. 
Another important uh, factor is the fair and appropriate rewards or in incentives that have been promised to the employees uh, when they have been, you know, uh, when they have joined the organization. So any uh, kind of uh, the policy of incentive or reward which has been introduced into a particular company or into a particular department needs to be followed till the end so that it will motivate the employees to strive to attain that perfection or quality of output that, uh, that the company is expecting uh, the employees to perform. And other important aspect is uh, there will be clear job expectations from the side of the employees that they would be expecting like a kind of a challenging job uh, the, where there will be a scope for much more learning opportunities not just that they would be working on a particular area uh, and they would be repeatedly doing the same thing over and over again. So these days um, uh, the most number of employees prefer to work in a challenging environment where their skills and uh, uh, capabilities will be tested and uh, where they would be able to you know uh, give maximum amount of support from their side uh, to make their own uh, skills uh, to master their own skills in that way so if they are pro put to that kind of uh, competitive environment they would be able to develop their skills and they would have a wide uh, you know uh, accessibility to learn the uh, different aspects of the job in which they're working on and not just entitled to the uh, particular core area in which they are actually working and other important aspect is increased level of motivation from the side of the management or the employers so only if there is a you know a motivation from the side of the company they would be able to uh, they would be able to give the kind of uh, productivity that the company is expecting so without the motivation without the kind of a team which is uh, there in a the company without the kind of you know work atmosphere um, it would be a very stressful uh, task to uh, meet the expectation of the company and other important factors is uh, in order to retain the employees the companies must be uh, you know uh, providing with the proper kind of compensation uh, so that the employee at the end of the day will feel satisfied for the work he has done uh, in order uh, so that he is receiving the right kind of you know uh, reward or the kind of incentive that is being promised to him and he should be also provided with other kind of benefits uh, if uh, if at all like a like the medical benefits or insurance benefits or things like that would be adding up to his you know um, urge to stay with the company and not to change uh, from his current position and all and uh, if we have kind of an emotional attachment is something which is uh, other that which is which is another aspect as compared to uh, that one of the factor which binds the employee to the uh, particular company for say if the uh, if there is a proper communication which is happening between employees and managers or the uh, peers who are working in the company there will be an emotional attachment and the employees might find it difficult to you know uh, live uh, from that particular company and you know move, switch on to another company so uh, there would be a you know uh, a, a, an urge to not to go into another company because of the kind of emotional uh, attachment the kind of a per, uh, per, uh, good team building and everything like that so there is another important aspect which binds employee to this particular company so uh, these are all the important factors which the company needs to take into consideration when uh, uh, when you know uh, in order to meet the demands or expectations of the uh, employees and to make sure that they are completely engaged in this kind of activities and also the companies can you know provide a certain employee engagement programs or recreation activities where they would be uh, you know not always be focused on the work uh, and job credit and everything, nothing like that so if they are being provided with this you know scope for improving their apart from the career prospects and all those things if they're provided a scope for you know they are improving their talents or up, uh, extracurricular activities or uh, things like that they, if they have uh, or if they you know set aside a time for that uh, that can be a you know um, very good aspect when it comes to making an employee stick on to that particular company so these are the things which companies need to take uh, care of when it comes to the present generation of employees uh, who are working in the company in order to make sure that they are completely engaged and make sure that they are retained in the particular company or organization thank you